Hello friends. So with the SWE initiative, we have been uh, hearing this word telemetry and it is expected and implicated that every software engineer should be performing telemetry for the products uh, or the websites uh, or database solutions that they have been building and, and, and providing the client. Now what does telemetry mean? Uh, in a layman's term, telemetry would be the usage matrix or the uh, utility or productivity of the solution that has been uh, provided to the client. Uh, and what we present here as a part of Hackathon is an is a uh, a framework which we call telemetry as a service or TAS. So uh, this framework is a very generalized framework wherein a, a, a website or a mobile application or uh, a, a reporting services uh, solution uh, or ETL solutions could be actually onboarded with ease in a subscription model uh, and it could uh, you know and this framework would allow to generate instant telemetry on these solutions so let's jump into the architecture and, and let's see what we have here we have the source data access business access and the presentation layer uh, let me explain so for this uh, framework what we have taken is uh, a demo for for three different uh, solutions it could be a reporting solution which uh, which has uh, say 20 different reports which has been delivered as a part of ods uh, or uh, a cube and then we have a website and then we have a mobile app so each of them uh, will have the different solutions what what we would be giving them is a framework wherein they would simply have to onboard to this particular framework and our ETL services will, will simply uh, get into uh, I mean pull the data and then build our uh, or populate the data into the data mart uh, which is a fact dimension data mart and a tabular cube uh, from uh, from which a tabular cube is is drawn, and hence uh, we uh, provide the flexibility of a, of using Power BI, uh, where the subscriber can simply uh, use a self-serviced Power BI to generate the matrix. Uh, also, we are providing a very rich interactive new software which has been acquired by Microsoft called DataZen, which allows you a seamless device independent experience of the dashboards. Uh, so, what I would try to go in is with this architecture overview. Let's look at the onboarding process. So the dashboard looks something like this, where, is, uh, where uh, a project can be onboarded and then can and then a subscriber can subscribe. So the first screen shows you the onboarding, where uh, it could be any of the reporting services, a web or a mobile app. So what does the user have? The user have to provide when he tries to onboard to this uh, framework is this uh, server name, database name, environment, and host server. And when the moment he clicks the submit button. Uh, we he would be getting uh, an email for requesting for the service account from which his his uh, application is running uh, now a, a service has been created which will uh, use the authentication provided or the service account provided and it will start picking up the data from uh, his platform and then it will be uh, then the etl service will simply inject the data uh, into our data mart so that is the onboarding of uh, uh, a solution that will be very simple and uh, for subscribe for subscribing to the solution what the user will have to do is simply uh, go go on to this portal and say and choose what type of solution he is trying to subscribe to when he chooses a reporting services or a website he will be able to see all the different sources or all the different website websites which are there further to this uh, once submitting this uh, submitting his request he'll be getting an email uh, with a link wherein he can simply uh, click on the link and then uh, sub, you know configure his user id and password and then uh, with the user and id and password he will be able to uh, jump on and uh, use the dashboard which is already configured and, and working so let's jump on to the dashboard as as uh, and see the demo of various users so we have three different users uh, one for the bi uh, reporting applications the other for a web and the uh, and the last one for the mobile app so let's try to take a look at what these subscribers can do and and can get to see uh, on this so this is a data data zen uh, software uh, dashboard so let's try to just check uh, let me log this or uh, log myself out so first of all let me log in as someone who has a reporting services so let's say he will be uh, typing his in his password and, and his user ID and he'll be direct, directed to the dashboards which are there configured for his 
application which is a reporting application as of now so what you see here is the project so he'll be able to choose his project and the dates uh, within which he wants uh, the telemetry to be done so these are the various reports as you can see and uh, you can also see the hit counts for each of the reports and the database and uh, the average processing time on the database server and on the reporting servers so this is in milliseconds for each of the reports also you can see there is uh, the domain wise access or the geographical access for each of these reports the success percentage of the reports and the top five users for this reports between this uh, start and the end date duration uh, if i were to dig deep uh, uh, there is a drill down for functionality uh, say i want to uh, know about the time audit report on double clicking the time audit report this redirects me uh, onto the uls time audit reports between these duration what i see is a very detailed uh, tele telemetry on this it gives me uh, the processing period on the database and on the reporting server side for July 3rd at the same time it gives me the concurrency it gives me 10 hits uh, which was uh, on that particular date seven of them at 10 p.m. and then three of them at 9 p.m. Uh, and also it gives me uh, the domain accesses for this period for for time audit and it gives me the hit for each of the day as you can see there was no hits on 9th of July for this uh, the top five users and the hit counts and also it gives me the uh, trending uh, counts uh, for the road row re returns or, or the record returns uh, then we have the failure and the success rates for each of these reports uh, so that is that is a concise telemetry on the reporting applications now let's try to jump in and see if uh, if a user from if a user from a mobile app or, or, or a web app tries to uh, use this so there is another uh, user which we have created for demo and, and this user is, is supposedly having a web telemetry and a data quality check so if we see here the web telemetry again he when he uh, he gets different uh, websites which are registered and then he will be able to uh, say between July 10th or let's keep it July 15th to a duration of July 27th he gets gets a different uh, access so overall hits uh, for for this website between that duration was 7038 and then he gets geographical hits uh, in United States United Kingdom based on the different countries uh, he gets the usage pattern for the operating system from from uh, or the sorry the the websites or operating system from where it was used and also the devices pattern he gets the failure percentage and as well as the concurrency hits percentage uh, he gets the client rendering resource source response time and send request time on the server side so that's the the average browser time that has been on, on a daily basis for each of the days and the hit counts for each of the days so this is again a telemetry on the website Having said that, uh, let's try to, uh, last but not the least, let's see uh, what about the mobile app. So, so if there's another user who tries to log in and, and see uh, the mobile app and there is the app telemetry which again uh, is using the database and you know fetching the telemetry between this period so this again shows you the uh, various geographical hits the total hit counts uh, app crash percentage and the uh, device usage pattern so so having said that uh, you should be able to i mean uh, see various kind of telemetry for from from this uh, centralized framework having said that it can it since it is using a fact dimensional model it is very easy uh, for us to extend it extend it from uh, and scale it out in on in, in various ways so uh, like a new measure which needs to be added uh, can be done since it's a fact dimension model we can add a column on the fact and, and then add a dimension and populate the data at the same time we have also onboarded a uh, couple of uh, projects or to production for this uh, that is ULS to be the first and, and then Jade we have also onboarded a, a new matrix uh, overall so if we if we take a look uh, we have the data quality check which has been onboarded uh, as a part so it is altogether a new uh,
it is all together a uh, new we can say a percent uh, a kind of matrix which is which is being used uh, to get the uh, data values uh, for for a data quality and the business uh, utility measures so So likewise, if we see there are various business rules here for access systems in ULS, we have the various, various business rules uh, and based on these business rules, it gives you what was uh, the business rule and the rejection counts uh, or, or, the, uh, or the failure results. And also we get the threshold results, uh, which, which is shown here. So for, uh, for Friday, July 17th, the threshold value was zero, while the result value for the uh, business kind condition was 330. So based on this, we, we get a different data quality and the success and the failure results for, for the data quality checks. So we have onboarded that uh, as well. Uh, uh, apart from that, we can also have a KPI like for here, we can see the number of hits for time audit reports uh, in this KPI, it says five. So we can, we can do various such things with this telemetry and we uh, will be able to extend it and onboard any and every uh, kind of solution into the centralized repository. Apart from that, uh, since we have a tabular cube, it is, uh, it is, it is uh, easier for anyone to build a Power BI and a self-service dashboard. Apart from this, I mean, if there's any other kind of telemetry or matrix or graph, which needs to be created by the subscriber, he or she is, uh, can, can do that and should be able to do, uh, uh, the telemetry on top of that. I hope, uh, this solution, uh, excites you and the interactivity and the rich look and feel of this solution helps you uh, you know gain much of the insights in terms of the performance usage uh, telemetry and matrix uh, for your project and solution uh, i am looking forward to hearing from you for all the comments and advices uh, and suggestions on this but for now i would really thank for you, thank you for listening to this video and understanding the nitty gritties about the solution if should you have any suggestions please feel free to dro drop a comment uh, but at the end of the day, I would sincerely request you to vote for this solution. Thank you so much.